hey guys welcome to my channel and today we are going to look at the state of Sikkim it is the least populous and the second smallest state in India after Goa and as you can see it is bordered by Nepal to the west Bhutan to the east and the Tibet autonomous region of China to the north and West Bengal to the south so let's jump in into Sikkim. So Sikkim, as you guys know, is a Northeast Indian state and is the eighth state to be included in this region of the seven sister states. That is Arunachal Pradesh, Assam, Meghalaya, Manipur, Mizoram, Nagaland and Tripura. The name Sikkim is from the two Limbu words Suhim, meaning a new house. It is host to the eastern Himalayan peak of Kanchenjunga, which is the highest peak in India and the third highest on the earth. And a large part of this state is the Kanchenjunga National Park, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. It was a kingdom found by the Namgyal dynasty in 17th century, ruled by the Buddhist priest king known as Chogyal. In 1890, it became a princely state of British India. After India's independence, it became a protectorate of India. In 1975, a referendum was held in which 97.5% of the voters supported union with India. Thus, on 16 May 1975, Sikkim became the 22nd state of Indian Union. It accounts for the largest share of cardamom production in India and is the world's second largest producer of cardamom after Guatemala. It is the first state in India to convert its agriculture to fully organic. It is divided into four districts, that is, North, East, West and South Sikkim. The district capitals for each district are Mangan of North Sikkim, Namchi of South Sikkim, Gyalxing of West Sikkim and Gangtok of East Sikkim, which is also the state capital. To reach Sikkim, you need to board a flight to Pakyong Airport, which is about 30 km south of Gangtok. At 4,646 feet, it is one of the five highest airports of India. It started in September 2018. Prior to it, you had to go to the Bagdogra Airport in West Bengal, which is about 120 km away from Gangtok. Make sure you book the window seat, even if it costs more as you'll be seeing the magnificent Himalayas from the plane as you approach Sikkim. For those who live in the western part of India, one will realize that it becomes dark here in the east much earlier compared to their region. During winters, it can get dark as early as 5.30 pm. This is the re one of the reasons for suggestion of two different time zones in India. The best time to visit Sikkim is during the summers starting from March to May so that you see the beautiful flowers and the scenic views or the winters starting from September to beginning of January. It starts snowing from mid-December to the beginning of January. Sikkim is best avoided in the monsoons. In Sikkim, rivers add to the beauty of the scenic winds. The Tista is one of the major rivers in Sikkim. You can enjoy water rafting in this river. Here you can see the river Rangit, which is one of its main tributaries. The Kanchenjunga peak will be your travel companion almost throughout the trip. Its splendor can be viewed from various points like Peling, Yuksum or Yaksum and even Gangtok. You might be familiar of this peak from the picture of the old 100 rupees note. We now head to Namchi in South Sikkim. Here lies the Solofok Chardham temple on the Namthang road. You have exact replica of the Chardham meaning the four abodes, namely the four pilgrimage of Badrinath, Rameshwaram, Dwarka and Puri. It is believed that visiting all these sites help achieve moksha that is salvation. These replicas of Chardham are must visiting.
Next, we move to Samdrupse, which is just 5 kilometers away from Namchi town. It is known as the wish fulfilling hill, so you have to visit it, right? It is at an altitude of 7,000 feet. This hill has a huge statue of Guru Padma Sambhava, also known as Guru Rinpoche. Guru Padma Sambhava is the patron saint of Sikkim who since the 8th century has been showering blessings since more than 1200 years. The statue is more than 120 feet tall and gilded with gold which glitters in the sunlight. The hilltop offers a view of Namchi town, Darjeeling and Kalimpong in West Bengal, Mount Kanchenjunga and also the eastern part of Nepal. The foundation stone was laid by the Dalai Lama in 1997. There are thrilling treks nearby to the Tendong Hill or Mainam Hill. You can also visit the Mainam Wildlife Sanctuary and Tendong State Biodiversity Park. You can visit other monasteries like Ralang, Doking Gompa, Gadak and Sardup Choling. Next we head to the Ravangala Buddha Park, also known as Tathagata Sar, in the city of Ravangala. Tathagata is one of the titles of Siddharth Gautam. It has a 130 feet high statue of the Buddha erected to mark the 2550th anniversary of birth of Gautam Buddha. It was constructed between 2006 and 2013. Ravangala is at the base of Mainam Hill. It is a site which you cannot miss, a very serene and beautiful garden. Unfortunately, when we visited, it was undergoing renovation, so we could not witness its full splendor. But it looks like this now after renovation. You will surely get some beautiful snaps from this garden. The site was chosen with the larger religious complex of the Rabong Gompa, which is a monastery, itself being a centuries old place of pilgrimage. Also nearby is the Ralang Monastery, a key monastery in Tibetan Buddhism. This statue was built and installed in the place through the joint efforts of the Sikkim government and its people. The Cho Jo Lake is located within the complex surrounded by forest. There is this a conclave and a museum meditation center in the park. The life of Gautam Buddha is depicted in two different manners within a gallery constructed in spirals. With this, I finish part one of the Travelopedia and will be back with more on Sikkim like Pelling, Kichapalari Lake, Yuksom, locals call it as Yaksum, and Gangtok. Please like and share this video. Give your feedback in the comment section. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to receive the notification. See you next time.